Fur hire. Yeah, I'm still question marking this to myself, but you know what? It looks like they have a regional top now. Hey, 34% of you that have not smashed the ever-loving crab out of that subscribe button, smash it so we can climb up the 100k ladder here. Now, a little bit of a note here before we get into this breakdown. We're having a tournament on Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys don't want to play, that's fine, but it's totally free. There's at least $300 in cash prizes we're handing out for free. And if you guys just want to have a good time, come watch, keep up with what's going on. I'll leave a link down below to our Discord. That way you guys can come join us. It'll give you some of you a free opportunity to just have some fun and wait. I said free. Yes, the entire tournament is free. So, let's talk about the Stay Weird Gaming Remote Regional Breakdown. Now, um, full disclaimer here. Um, for hire, by the way. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second, though. We had five Ishizu tier in the top cut. Um, am I surprised about that? No. Um, this deck has been the biggest pain in the butt in the entire room. We all know this. We all know that the deck has become an annoyance. That's just what it is at the moment. All right, now your one ofs here. Uh, we have one sprite deck that made it into top cut, which I'm not surprised about that. Uh, we'll talk about that list here in a second. Um, we also have a runic list, which will be on the YouTube channel for Garrett. I'll leave a link down below that way you guys can get it. Um, I understand not turning in for wanting to keep it for yourself, but that's that's fine. Um, so you guys can look forward to that. And then we have a for hire deck. This was from Alan Vera. And <laughs> the notes that my, my friend put together for me when he was gathering info was, I uh, think we have the list, have the list, and it's for hire. Confirmed, evidently. Um, I don't really know how to explain for hire pulling off a top, but you know, we'll analyze supposedly what we have together here and uh, go from there. So uh, let's pass it on in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a spellbook deck that got 11th place. And there's a Marin deck that got 13th place. So we'll cover those as well. I, I know some of you are going to be excited to hear those two particular decks actually stepped on up here and did relatively well. I think that's actually pretty good worth mentioning. I don't think we're strangers to seeing Sprite out here until the one person comes to comment and go, Robbie, where are these, the uh, tier list? I don't have any. <laughs> I didn't get the chance to pick any of them off from anybody. Nobody wanted to share them. So, I mean, yeah, you got to remember when we gather this info, it's based on what players share with me. They're more likely to tell me what they're played. But if there's some saucy, you know, sauce they want to keep quiet, a lot of people won't share. So we should be at least happy that we have the breakdowns to talk about here. So for this list, standard buy steel six package. Uh, Duprog's been kind of showing up lately as a little saucy little guy. A little something you can bring off the old totally awesome. I'm going to annoy the old opponent here. So for this third place here for Michael Grant, so we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two copies of Bicycle Drosworm, we have triple copies of Magna Hut with one Sarnir, we have one Doop Doop with one Ipria, gotta love draw power, two little Nimble Anglies, we have triple copies of Nimble Beaver with triple copies of Gamma, we also have triple copies of Sprite Blue, one Carrot with triple copies of Jet, one Sprite Red, two Swappies, and then we have one driver with your triple E-Telly, triple smashers with triple starter, and then of course, good old triple infinite impermanence here. Down the extract, standard stuff. You got the one sprint, two elves, your one lambda, your one nightmare Cerberus with your one Dahark, your one Wallow with your one totally awesome, your one soul sweeper with your one mannequin cat, two gigantic sprites, one downer with one Zeus, and then one little cat shark. Then we got Triple Drone Lockbird, one Red Resonator, one Tetsudo E Rat Newman, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Dark Roll No More with one Harpy's Feather Duster, two Regeki, and one copy of the Sprite Do Double Cross. Wrapping up your Sprite list. I mean, in terms of what we expect really out here anymore from this deck, 95% of this deck still feels the same. You kind of innovate and decide which paths that you want to go down in terms of cards, but honestly, a lot of the build is going to feel very much pretty much figured out, I feel like, at this point. Next up here is for hire. Now, to be honest with you, um, <laughs> I, I expected some sort of um, sprite cards in here because you do have that level two synergy with Rex here, which kind of can make up for some very interesting things. But 
you know what? We let's call it what it is. We know these cards are going to be an absolute monster staple here. Um, but in terms of looking at a competitive variant for for hire, this looks like it would be one of the go to variants. I I will say it. You know. You can definitely tell, obviously, equalizer cards here. This build has been made to be as competitive as really possible here. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of Beat Bladesman for Hire. Two copies of Jerusalem. We have triple copies of Magna Hut with one Sarvenir. We have one Marksman with one Dyna. Triple copies of Philo. Two, book, two copies of Little Ghost Spell. Two copies of Raphael. I still... Don't ever try to play three of this. I feel like it's just a brick. We have one copy of Recon, triple copies of Rex, one copy of Seal, and one copy of Wiz. And then we have two copies of Mayhem, one one for one with triple copies of Pot of Prosperity. We have one Roto, triple copies of Ricky for Hire, and triple copies of Evan Impermanence. Down here we have one Underworld Goddess, one Sprint, one Sprite Elf with one Al Mirage, one Lingaribo, the one Nightmare Unicorn with one IP. We have two copies of Fogo, and then we have two copies of Donner. Then we have one copy of Dehark, one Apo, one Axis Coat, and one Gigantic Sprite. Then you got Triple DD Crow, Triple Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Dark Ruler, Triple Anti Scam Fragrance, and Triple Copies of Evenly Matched here, wrapping up your fifth place list. And you know what? pretty gosh darn cool to see that this deck literally got to function with not a single sprite card really in the main deck. I mean, you're still going to play Gigantic because the card's, you know, just that good. All right, next up is 11th place Spellbooks. Now, hear me out here for a second. You know you're impressed. You know that you are so happy to hear that Spellbooks, of all things, got the chance to step up and play and do well. I, I honestly do agree with you. I think that Spellbooks... Spellbook of Judgment is definitely one of those cards that a lot of people are going to kind of turn heads and go, you know, is it really worth playing? Well, one duelist stepped up to the plate and said, yeah, I'm going to take the challenge for this event. And, you know, 11th place is nothing to scoff at. All right. It's just a little bit off of top eight, but it's still impressive nonetheless. We have triple copies of Ecclesia. We have two copies of Fleur de Lis. We have one Jaugen with two copies of Magician Souls. We have triple copies of Spellbook of Prophecy. Two copies of Lightning Storm with triple Nadir Servant. We have one Spellbook of Eternity. Two Spellbook of Fate with one Spellbook of Judgment. We have triple copies of Spellbook of Knowledge with a one Spellbook of Life. We have one Spellbook of Power with triple copies of Spellbook of Secrets. We have triple copies of Spellbook of the Master. One copy of Wisdom. Triple copies of Talents. Triple copies of Ultimate Slayer. Then we have one Punishment and triple Evenly Matched here. Down in the extra deck, you got one Selene with one Gardna, one Almirage with one Lena. We have one Lingaribo with one Nightmare Griffin, one Crowley with one Artemis. We also have one Axis Code Talker, one Meteorologic Aggregator, one Wind Pegasus, one Omega with one Titanic Clad, one Garuda, and one Anintis. Our side deck here, we have triple copies of Ghost Sisters and Spooky Dogwood. One Ice Bell with two Dark Roller No More, one Harvey's Feather Duster with one Lightning Storm, two Secret Village, one Terraforming, one Punishment, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment here. Wrapping up, yeah, another interesting take on the metagame. And man oh man, spell books. Yet again, rising to the rising to full heights literally to crush the competition. I you do love to see it. And then last but not least, we have a 13th place Marin Cess list. And before you're like, ah, oh, it's just 13. I mean, this, and once again, you know, Spool Books both bubbled out of this event. And yes, we are playing Zillantis. Some really cheesy things end up happening with this card that you might not really think it would happen with Marin Cess, but they do. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of DD Crow, triple copies of Drawn Lockbird. We have two copies of Little Sleepy Maiden. We have triple copies of Marincess Blue Tang. We have triple copies of Pascalis with triple copies of Marincess Seahorse. We also have triple copies of Spring Girl with triple copies of Sign Mining. Two copies of Battle Ocean. We have two dives. One Desires with two Talents, Triple Infinite Permanence with two copies of Wave, two Goes and Match, and two Ravelry of the Warlords. And then we have one Zaleantis, two copies of Sea Angel, one copy of Marbled Rock with one Bubble Reef. We have one Coral Triangle with two Coral Anemone. We have two Blue Sluggeru, one Aqua Argonaut with one Axis Code. And we have one Totally Awesome, one Bahamut Shark, and one Abyss Dweller. Then our side deck here is one Ash Blossom, one Stealth Kraken, one Area with one Crystal Heart. 
one called By the Grave with triple Dark uh, Ruler. We also have one Lightning Storm with triple Twin Twister and triple copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up, well, really everything out of the Stay Weird Gaming Regional. And uh, honestly, yeah, what an event. So please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.